Hello, Norse Mythology Series Lesson. Today I am going to talk about Thor. Look at the Thor family trees. His father is Odin, his mother is Gia. He married to Sif, there will be three children. One of them, a boy, is Magni. It means that the strength. Modi, it is courage. And Sadre, she became a Valkyrie. Thor is an Odin's eldest son, strongest of the gods, though not the wisest. From Old Norse, Thor was an obvious reference to the gods' elish control of the phenomenon. When the Germanic people adopted the Roman calendar in the early centuries of the Common Era, they replaced the day called Dies Lovis, the day of Jupiter, with Ponares, Dages, or Thor's day. For more information, you can watch my previous video about how the day of the week got their name. Here, look, yes, Thursday. Red haired and red bearded, brave, powerful, and righteous means morally good. Thor fully embodied the hero archetype means ancestor. Thor faced his problem with the hammer in his hand and violence in his heart. Thor commanded the storms and rain and brought lightning and thunder. Loki, who mischievously cut off all of Sif's golden hair, Thor seized Loki and would have broken every bone in him. Loki promised to make amends. When Loki returned to Asgard, he gave the new hair for Sif and Mjolnir to Thor. The hammer was heavy and only the thunder god had the strength to wield it. Thor's Attributes Thor's attributes are three magical items, the hammer, Mjolnir, the belt, it is Megindord, and his iron gloves, out of which Mjolnir is the most characteristic one as well as this good drawn carriage, it means that carriage with two wheels. Know about Thor's hammer? Mjolnir, the Thor's hammer, it is faster than the speed of sound. It holds Thor's memories. It can fly through planets. It can raise the dead. Vampires hate it. The goods carry Thor along the universe, but they also brought a source of sustenance with food to him. Mythology had it that Thor cooked both goods for his meals. He kept the bones intact and the day after that he would resurrect, bring back to life the goods back to life. It was not a common thing to see that a leader rode a goat to the battle though. But Thor was not a leader, he was more likely to be a friend of everyone. He helped and defended not only his beloved but also the ordinary people in Midgard. Die at Ragnarok Thor and Jormungand were fated to meet again during Ragnarok. Ragnarok is destruction of the gods and final battle. The events of Ragnarok would begin when the serpent of Midgard released its tail from its mouth and wriggled onto dry land. There it would join its brother Fenrir who would set the world aflame while Jormungand filled the earth with poison. Thor and Jormungand would meet one last time and while Thor was fated finally to kill his foe, he would sustain mortal wounds in the process. 
Thor would take nine steps after felling the serpent before succumbing means die to the serpent's poison and dying. Thor is doomed to die at Ragnarok at the end of the world and twilight means when the day is ending of the gods but falls only after killing the great serpent with his powerful hammer it was what Mjolnir dying to its poison. His sons Magni and Madi survive Ragnarok along with the small number of the other gods and inherit his hammer which they used to restore order. Surely Thor was somewhat intimating for he could control thunder and lightning. Anyone daring to play a trick on Thor was wishing a death wish. He was somewhat holy and untouchable as a god, yet he was also ordinary and close as a friend. His ghosts this remind us of this aspect. Here are some important words pronunciation. Number one, Mjolnir, Thor's Hammer, second one, Ragnarok, final battle, fate of the gods, the third one, attribute as a noun, something attributed as belonging to a person, thing, group, etc., a quality, character, characteristic, or property, succumb or succumbing, here, succumbing means die. Thank you for watching.